This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University, and today I wanted to talk about burning methane for Bitcoin. If you're like me and you're worried sick about global warming caused by toxic methane emissions from central bankers like Augustine Karstens, for example, here's a guy who talks a lot about equality, but he's clearly gained from an inequitable distribution of resources at the dinner table. Unfortunately, there's no permanent solution as long as the world remains on a central banking fiat standard with lots of fiat food and fiat bankers like Karstens and politicians. Now, inventors will continue to work on creating a special methane capture toilet for central bankers like him. But until then, there's fortunately another way to help to mitigate methane emissions using Bitcoin mining. And while central bankers continue to turn money into trash, Bitcoin can actually do the opposite. It has the potential to turn trash into money. So the next time your normie friend tells you that Bitcoin mining is quote unquote bad for the environment, show them this video. Now bureaucrats have a really tough job on hand because they have to try to figure out at what temperature to set the Earth's thermostat at. And learning to control global weather is a really big job. So let's use Bitcoin in this video to help them. If you're enjoying this video so far, I just ask you to hit that subscribe button. So methane gas has more than 80 times the warming power of carbon dioxide. So to the extent you can convert methane to carbon dioxide, you can have a good effect. And landfills do give off a lot of methane during the natural process of decomposition. If you can convert that methane into carbon dioxide by burning it, you convert what we've seen as a more dangerous greenhouse gas into a less dangerous greenhouse gas. The bonus is this, that you can use the heat generated to create electricity to run Bitcoin mining rigs and thus economically incentivize more landfills to do the same. For example, here's a landfill gas powered uh, power plant in the Rocky Mountain e uh, region. This is done by Nodal Power, which we're gonna be talking about. Basically, they're doing Bitcoin mining using landfill gas here. And the good news is this company just raised $13 million uh, a couple weeks ago to build more of these renewable energy power plants that are used to power Bitcoin miners at landfills. I'll link to the description notes, this uh, press release, and I'll also link to the website here so you can check out exactly how they do it. But it's, it's a fairly um, simple process, at least at a high level, where you're basically converting methane into electricity by burning it. That converts it to uh, carbon dioxide, which is a much better emission. And then you have this electricity that's usually a fairly stranded form of electricity. And so Bitcoin mining works quite well with it. And you can imagine this. You can imagine this vision of decentralization for another piece of Bitcoin mining, where you have Bitcoin mining operations built on top of every landfill on the planet. This is something that environmental critics of Bitcoin still don't get, and they're going to end up being quite embarrassed by this. Even the White House, which is quite hostile to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, has issued a report that is positive on this front. This was from September of 2022. You can see it's from whitehouse.gov, climate and energy implications of crypto assets in the United States. And here's one of the key quotes I wanted to pull out for you. While the EPA and the Department of the Interior have proposed new rules to reduce methane for oil and natural gas operations, crypto asset mining operations that capture vented methane, and this could be from oil and gas drilling operations, or it could also be from landfill, that capture vented methane to produce electricity can yield positive results for the climate by converting the potent methane to CO2 during combustion. Mining operations that replace existing methane flares would not likely affect CO2 emissions since this methane would otherwise be flared and converted to CO2. Mining operations, though, could potentially be more reliable and more efficient at converting methane to CO2. Do you have any Bitcoin? Do you own Bitcoin? Because it's something that every single political party on earth will eventually endorse. Even a very hostile administration has this uh, buried in that report. Here's the great ir irony about Ethereum, which converted to proof of stake to supposedly be better for the environment. Unfortunately, now because Ethereum no longer runs on proof of work, they're even less capable of helping the environment by remediating methane emissions, as we've seen in this video. And I just have to ask for the world, why does Vitalik Buterin hate the earth so much that he moved to proof of stake? Even the badger dance is not going to save Ethereans at this point. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comments section below. 
I'll leave you with this outro of Vitalik Buterin doing the badger dance just to give you another idea of what Ethereum culture looks like, and it's not a pretty sight. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.